Hey and welcome to another quick tip tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to store your attributes as a texture using COPS in Houdini. So first I'm going to create a geometry, go inside and create a grid, maybe 300 by 300 and the size one by one. And next, is, next step is to create a UV for a geometry. So I'm going to use a UV project node and connect and go to initialize and click on initialize. And if I press the space five in the viewport, you can see we have a v, uh, UV. And next is the create attribute you want to write into the texture. So in this case, I just use the attribute uh, noise and just connect it and as by default is going to use the CD color. So I just changed the element size to have a more detail in the color. Let me just create an all and create this is for or maybe attribute. It doesn't matter what you name it. And create a cup. Jump inside and create a VOP cup to generator. Here we have to access uh, the geometry and read uh, the color attribute based on the U UV space we have. So for that one, we need to use a VEX function. And let me just create a snippet to write some code. So actually just few line of code and it's very simple. First, uh, I create a vector attribute and name it UV equal to set X and X and Y. Another vector to sample the color attribute from the UV. So I just name it uh, anything you like. In this case, I just use uh, color and equal to UV sample. Here we need to use the, the path to geometry. So I, I use the up and paste the path. Then the next argument is the, the attribute you want to sample. So in this case, it's CD and also the UV and use the capital UV. for the position. So here we can just read about about this at uh, the arguments and what, what they're doing. For the, the last one, it was the, the position in a UV space. So we want to sample the attribute. So this, uh, this variables is going to later when we start to connect this uh, snippet the, to this X and Y is this X and Y and we need to create another variables like R, G, and B. So it's going to be this R, G, and B. I'm just use the color dot, dot X and color dot Y and color dot Z. Apply just connect your R, G, and B here and X and Y. And just connect the output R, G, and B. I'm going just to switch to composite view. As you can see, we have the attribute shown in, in the composite view now. For the size also, you can go here to the image and use overwrite size in this case and just go for 1K. So yeah, we don't have any movement here, but if I come here and just go to animation, animate the noise, you also can 
have animated. So let's just write to disk using the rub file output. So you can set the range and the format you want. So this I actually found this method on uh, Artforce forum and it is very useful technique. And I hope you enjoy it. So I think sometimes it's uh, this technique can be useful or maybe even you want to write it the attribute and the texture to use it in another software. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.